Did you, uh, you talk to her after that? She did write me a letter, though. About a week ago. What did it say? Things actually aren't bad here. Food's OK. Staff are generally nice people. The therapists have been working with me to fill in my memories of those missing hours. And it's kind of a fun exercise. I can tell them fucking anything, and they'll just write it down and nod. In other news, the old medication of the month club is back in full swing. And the latest ones are making me sleep 14 hours a day and dream constantly. You're in a lot of them. In one of the recurring ones, we're in your living room, and I've just drank your drug screwdriver. And you're screaming, asking me why I did it. Asking me why I have a horse's head instead of my face. And I want to tell you that I don't. But I turn to you and I open my mouth and all that comes out is. <laughs> and then there's this other recurring dream that doesn't involve you at all. And it goes like this. I'm Honeymooner. And I'm dying. And I rise out of my body. And I'm staring down at our whole suburb. And time is speeding up. And I see generations of people coming and going and building bigger houses. And then eventually, the people start spending more and more of their time staring at their smartphones. And soon enough, they're forgetting to clean their houses, or mow their lawns, or eat. And eventually, all the houses rot and collapse, and the people disappear vanishing completely into the internet. And then, and this is the really beautiful part, the horses take over. And the whole suburb is just beautiful thoroughbred stallions with no owners and no memory of owners and no way of knowing how expensive they are, just mating and galloping through the ruins. What did it say? I don't know. I just threw it away. <laughs>